and we are in Canva. You have created your account and or you are logged in in Canva. And as you can see on this tutorial, I am logged in in my own account. Here we are. I haven't, I don't have an upgrade. I have the free version because um, everything what we want to do today will be available in the free version. I did a little bit magic beforehand in Photoshop and in Canva for you to create this master template. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, now you have a chance to get access to this. Okay. So here we are, you will see the dashboard here. And instead of creating a new design or adding more designs to start from scratch, I have created a template and this is the template. And when you will click on the link I have shared with you, you will see this here, which is loading right now. And this is the actual template, the master mood board template. It doesn't look like a mood board right now because this is this, this is the description page. And I have highlighted this description page because it is so important that you do what I am telling you right now. Okay. So don't geek out. Don't be crazy. Now it's the time to duplicate this template this master template to your own Canva account. And you do so by clicking on file. Now this pop-up is showing up and you say, and you click make a copy. What's happening is you are copying this master template directly to your own Canva account. And the master template will stay in my account so that everybody from the challenge has the opportunity to copy it by themselves as well. If you don't do this and start to design in the template, everybody sees what you are doing and they don't have the chance to design by themselves because they could destroy your designs and you getting confused why someone else is working in your document. But actually it's not because this is the master template. It looks the same, but it is integrated in my account. And I send it on public so that you have access. So because I clicked make a copy, the copy went up here and this is your actual copy. And I will now guide you through the document. You can delete this now because we don't need it anymore. You've done what was necessary. And here you see the template. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? Wonderful, gorgeous. And it looks totally different than all the other template and mood boards out there because I have done the Photoshop magic beforehand. And I have also created some pages for you if you want to try different designs and if you like to upload more than one mood board. Of course, you can copy it and by clicking this little icon here, you can create more mood boards. But the most important part is that you stick to your design, your direction, your color palette. And next video will be about how to go further and create the actual design.